should be strong enough now that if anybody wants to scrap with me, I'm um, gonna be bringing the rockets. That was my goal. I wanted a gum gum. Give me the gum gum and I won't be overpowered. It is simple. Get out of here, though. I don't know if I have that in me. Maybe if I just go all the way right, and eventually go down, it might be enough. Bunch of things that I need to do now. Uh, where's Homeboy Slice? Historian. It's not your house. Missing an EBIT in order to get a Ravage. And get an Arboil. We need four for rocks to get a for rock. Oh, we only need two for the, the Pith. That's nice. Don't have any Arbols. Leaf Chogo. The for rock for that. Get a buy knock. I uh, need two more whisperings. Batar. Iron. Timber yarn. And so I can't even create any of the uh, the ones that I saw. Risk it for the biscuit and go for the Vinoc right now? Kinda wanna plit. But yeah, uh, let's just go for the Vinoc. If I did get the gum gum, I wouldn't have even had the ability to use the gum gum or to forge the gum gum because she cannot forge any of the stuff that I got from over there. Theoretically.
Alrighty. Relics. Raises a creature's skill. Raises a creature's strength. Okay, bag of bones. you give a creature energy. Restores your energy. Okay. Wishbone, and the Archaic Leaf. I don't remember what the Archaic Leaf does. That's that's fine, I guess. Let's glyph. That's all that I need to do here. Feel very accomplished lately. Been getting it done. It sounds like you've been getting it done, Dante. As they say, you have been bringing the ruckus. some uh, dang it I was I'm supposed to cook today but now I want some of them red tacos <sighs> I should have rested at the end too oh. random encounters what is this Shadow Vinoc. Summon a Vinoc of my own.
taco time, you're about to use the last of your lunch budget from work and order some food. <laughs> uh, the thing is, is I said I was gonna cook today because I ordered food yesterday and I was supposed to save some for today. But I didn't do that. I instead ate it all yesterday like a suck of food. Libertine? I am doing well. Long time no see to you as well. I did take uh, three days off. Right. I've been playing uh, Trails to Azure for like 12 days straight. There were some, some 10 hour streams chucked in there too, so I was like, you know what? I need a vacation. Plus, I had to take Tuesday off anyway, so. Took Monday off, and then on Wednesday, I was just like, you know what? I ain't really feeling it today. I took Wednesday off, too. But, one of the reasons that I followed through with uh, taking Wednesday off was because I'm streaming on Saturday this week as well. One energy, come on! Part time? <laughs> yeah. What can I say? Hey, got that vile yogu. Not too vile yogu. I needed that level up. I don't know how it is. Sometimes, sometimes you just gotta take a little bit of a break. Stuff happens. Oops, I do not want to summon. I want to focus. Get that two energy back. Did 11 damage with that punch. Is that a crit? Kind of sounded like a crit. Or sounded like what a crit could sound like. break all you want? Well, you know, I still got some games to play. Can't be taking too many breaks. I got a... I think after this game, 
I'm going to play Final Fantasy XII for the viewer request. So that one's going to take a while. I have a pretty quote-unquote open schedule. like the next, I think, like two months. I'll probably knock out a viewer requested game or two. And see where things take me. You, you logged like 150 hours into Triangle Strategy. Love that game. Triangle Strategy is a pretty good game. Pretty good game. Pretty good. I didn't. I didn't spend 150 hours in it though. Remember watching me play the demo a while back? That was. Uh... I beat, I beat Triangle Strategy in like five days, I think, but, but when I beat Triangle Strategy, like the first day was the demo, so it was only, you know, like three hours or something like that, and then the second day, I think it was like a short stream or something like that, like, I I put giga amounts of time into triangle strategy. This this is just leading to that other spot, right? Going the right way. Oh, mall. I don't want that Darth. Five days to get all the endings, or just one? Just, just one. I, I didn't, I didn't play. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not much of a multiple endings type of person. All right, this is definitely. like a boss fight. Field uh, typically, I would say like 95% of the time, if I get an ending and credits are attached to it, then that's uh that's when I set down the game. It's not a hard fast like rule, it's not even a rule for me. It's just usually by the time I get credits on a game, it's pretty tough to feel the motivation to to continue playing because you know like the story is over what more what more do we go which did i choose if i remember oh my goodness uh, i i wouldn't be able to say it out loud I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but, um... If I were to lead you in the direction of the choice I made... I... Dang. I... I don't 
I remember... I remember the choice that I made, but I don't remember, like, how I got to that choice. Um... Uh, do you remember the... Uh, are you aware of the Singer Pink uh, Libertine? Okay. Uh, if you think of the Singer Pink, then that correlates with the, the choice that I made. Only the Singer, though. made the same... I don't know, you picked up on that quick. You made the same choice on your first playthrough? See, <laughs> it, it's kind of coming back to me right now because when, when I made that choice, I was like, nobody's gonna choose this choice. This choice is insane. Um, and... And then I start like watching other people play it and they, or, or like I listen to other people or talk about it and stuff like that. And they're like, yeah, I chose that choice too. And I was just like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Here I thought I was being the bomb diggity, you know? I mean, that, that was the choice that I, I wanted to choose regardless, but you know, like in the back of my mind, it was like, nobody's crazy enough to choose this option. And it turns out like everybody chooses that option. Now the other two choices were insane. Uh, one, one of the choices, I mean, I think there's a pretty good reason to do any of the other choices, but Honestly, I thought the choice that I, I made was the most insane. But I guess people just... I don't know, I... In hindsight, I should have... I should have chose something else. Yeah, yeah, like, you can justify any of them. And I, I think they were all valid, like, justifications. It's just, you know, that choice, the, the choice that we made was just so out there. It's like, why would anybody do that? But apparently that's what everybody wanted to do. And, and also, you know, it's influenced by how you're playing the game and stuff like that, and... And... You know, eventually you're just gonna have to... Make a choice that you're not gonna like, and, you know... Some people live with it, I... Pretty sure I live with all my decisions. There, huh, there was, there was one, one decision in that game that was made where I was like, this is the worst idea in the world. Why, why are we doing this? And then it turned out to be one of the best decisions in the world. I, I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. My bot is going crazy. like to talk more about it openly but you understand the spoiler potential yeah I don't want to I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that haven't played triangle strategy it's you know, still a relatively new game I think it, it came out uh, last year or something like that so 
with so many games getting released, uh, very understandable that people haven't gotten to it yet. in the base of this grate. I'll pull it out. What's that? I'm encounter. I should play it? I, uh, I definitely agree with that. Yeah. At the very least, if you like tactics games, and, uh, you know, I, I, I generally say this with all tactics games, but, you know, if if, if you could just put your, your love and nostalgia aside for Final Fantasy Tactics and, uh, and Tactics Ogre and just give, uh, you know, other tactics games like Triangle Strategy, you know, a legitimate uh, try, I think it'll be the bomb diggity. If, if you're looking, if you're looking for Final Fantasy Tactics 2, Tactics Ogre 2, or something like that, or, you know, whatever it would be, I, I think that, you know, people will always be disappointed. It's a love letter to Final Fantasy Tactics and Tactics Ogre? I mean, I, I suppose. It's Anamite. Uh oh, this place is coming apart. I'm out of here. Stop. What the? You will go no further. Who are you? I am Togoth, guardian of this core gate. This Shadow Geyser? No, core gate. But Gaia, or Gia, uh, called it a Shadow Geyser. What the heck is a Shadow Geyser? What kind of fruity name is that? If you call it that one more time, I will kick your hairy little buttocks. Oh my gosh. The heck with it. I was gonna do it anyway. You don't wanna scrap with me, dog. Don't worry, this won't hurt for long. I do not want to scrap with me, dog. I do not want to focus. I want some. Get by knock over here. Maul this sucker. Must keep this core gate open. It is our portal for destroying this pansy forest. Nope. Yeah, 
I'm, uh, I'm a little high level right now. boss fight. Let's grow you. Maul you. Fight. Heal. Pretend? Hmm. Fireball. Oh no. Alright. That line let us cling together is in the game? Oh, I don't I I'm I probably missed that. It's for more than 10. Oof, 26 damage. Please don't be for like two. Oh my gosh, it's exactly two. else leveled for that? Come on. Who was that? What was that you said? That was me saving the game. Crystal Blades. Oh, 
crap. Did that... Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, but... What are the crystal blades? Curiosity. The game basically spoiled this. Oh. Then the Shadow Geyser pulled the levers to open the gates. That's where it stops with all of its hints. the right way to go? It's someone a less powerful. Dude, what a Vinoc. Surely we won't get absolutely destroyed, right? getting attacked. Are you all right? Yes, thanks to you. I didn't see that one. Must be getting rusty. My name is Wentz. And I'm Tony. Well, Tony, it seems I owe you a debt. I live near here, so you can come around to my place anytime. Uh, uh you need a rest. Don't worry if I'm not home. Feel free to go there anytime. Thanks. See you around, Tony. house was like on the completely other side of the map. Not this side of the map though.
are you doing, Tony? Would you like to rest and record your journey? Yes. That's... That's all that was for, huh? Okay. You can come all the way up there. Just to rest and record my journey. I appreciate it. Ain't complaint. Just, you know, a little bit out of the way. Don't expect me to be going up there all the time. Man, I... I was like, this is not the... the way. And then I got baited into it. We might get a, an ability to walk on water. Just my my intuition speaking. I played an indie game several years ago uh, called Towards the Pantheon. And uh, the encounters for that game are very reminiscent of the encounters for this game. I wonder if there was uh, some sort of inspiration there. Gia. Uh, look what I found at the geyser. The stone. What an unusual shape. This is what formed the geyser. I guess the geyser closed when I removed it from... Uh, removed... When... When I removed this from it. Uh, the shape is very familiar. Kairos, could you show me the corglyph? slot is the exact same shape as the size of this. A stone. Kairos, put the stone into that, into the glyph. That must be the key to unlocking the core glyph's power. But there are three more slots. Where do I get the other three stones? Perhaps now that I know what we are looking for, I can try to locate them. No good. Something is preventing me from seeing it clearly. All I sense is that they are all concentrated in one area, yet always moving. This can only mean one thing. Somebody is holding them. No doubt it is the same person who used the stone to form the geyser in our room. Did you notice any suspicious characters around the geyser? Actually, I did notice someone, but... Uh, he went too fast for me to see clearly. Did you see where he went? He went into a cave. I tried to follow him, but he disappeared. I did find these crystal blades, though. Let me have a look. Those look like the kind of blades used by miners in the underneath. Uh, 
he must have taken the old mine shaft. Idon can fit those blades into digging gloves for you. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Kairos. Need some crystal gloves. I can pick you a pair in hardly no time at all. Here you go, Tony. Does this mean I'm gonna get a gum gum? Is that what this means? With these, you can dig through that softer dirt to the underneath. The entrance is just north of here. Wow, thanks. You know what this means. I have to go all the way back to that one place first. And dig through that and see what's there. Oh, so obligatory life is hard. Seems like a lot of random battles in this game. To fight them all, so there's that. Although in that one dungeon, they they were like actual random fights that you had to that you couldn't avoid, I guess. Six times, and I still don't know how to navigate this place properly. all over here. Alright, well, that did not yield the results that I was hoping for.
wish there were some shortcuts that I could take to get back to places quicker. But alas. I'm gonna have to remember a lot of places to go. Uh, I think it's probably best that I call it quits here for today. I was thinking, you know, maybe I'll just go in there, farm, you know, maybe some more uh, gum gums. Maybe I can get a gum gum uh, little crystal thing, but it's probably not gonna happen. Just uh, not go through that. Maybe I'll get lucky and get one, uh, you know, while we're we're doing that. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow, 7 a.m. Pacific, to continue with some more Magi Nation, or it's probably called Magi Nation, but you know, whatever. Um, I'll also be streaming on Saturday because it's the first of the month and I have to do that to not break things on my end, so, you know, just make things simpler for myself. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, appreciate it. See ya the next time I see you. Peace!